Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the Romanian Mathematical National Mathematical Olympiad 12th grade 2004 problem number 3. Let f from the interval 0 1 into r be an integrable function such that the integral from 0 to 1 of f equals the integral from 0 to 1 of x times f of x dx equals 1. We wish to prove that the integral from 0 to 1 of f squared is greater than or equal 4. It's a pretty nice problem. Here are my hints. The key is uh, Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, which says that the integral of f squared times the integral of g squared is always greater than or equal integral of f times g everything squared. So, parenthesis squared. Uh, provided that f and g are integrable. And in particular, you should try function g of this form, ax plus b, a fine function, in other words, for suitable coefficients a and b. So, give this problem a try, and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so here is my solution. So, let, let's first let g of x be equal ax plus b, where let's say that a is non-zero. By Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, we know the following. Integral from 0 to 1 of f squared of x dx times the integral from 0 to 1 of ax plus b squared dx is always greater than or equal the integral from 0 to 1 of ax plus b f of x dx quantity squared. We know that. And now let's consider separately this integral, which I will mark a, a, i1, and this will be marked i2 for now. So let's start with i1. Well, what is integral from 0 to 1 of ax plus b squared dx? It's pretty straightforward. We are integrating square of an affine function, so it's ax plus b cubed over 3 times a, evaluated from 0 to 1. Because once we differentiate this function by chain rule, you get ax plus b squared. And that's a plus b cubed minus b cubed over 3 times a, and that can be simplified uh, to a squared plus 3ab plus 3 times b squared over 3. Okay, what about the second integral? Integral from 0 to 1 of ax plus b f of x dx. What about that integral? Well, it can be written as integral from 0 to 1, a times integral from 0 to 1 of x times f of x dx plus b times integral from 0 to 1 of f of x dx. And now we will make use of our assumptions. By our assumption, if you go back, integral of f equals integral of x times f equals 1. Both of these inter integrals are 1. So it's just a plus b. And that means that means now we know now we know that that what happens that integral from 0 to 1 of f squared uh, of x dx times i1 but i1 was just a squared plus 
3 times AB plus 3 times B squared over 3 is necessarily greater than or equal uh, A plus B squared. Now, all we wish to do is find coefficients A and B such that after dividing by this quantity, we get 4 on the right hand side. And now it's a matter of experimentation, I would say. It's a matter of experimentation. First, we can set, for example, we can set, for example, what exactly? Let's start with setting A to be 1. Set A to be 1. Then we have, for example, integral from 0 to 1 of f squared of x dx is greater than or equal 3 times b plus 1 squared over, we divide by a squared plus 3ab plus 3b squared, and we get 3b squared plus 3 times b plus 1. Now, we should get 4 here. Is it possible? It is. It is. You can either solve a quadratic equation or just guess the correct value. Uh, the correct value of b is minus 1 third, it turns out. Why is that? Well, let's take a look. 3 times b plus 1 squared over 3b squared plus 3 times b plus 1. It's 3 times minus 1 third plus 1. It's 2 thirds squared. Here we have 3 1 over 9 minus 3 times 1 third plus 1. And what do we get? We get 3 times 4 over 9, so it's 4 over 3 in the numerator, and in the denominator we have 1 third, and it's just 4. It's just 4. And that means, in particular, that our integral from 0 to 1 of f squared of x dx is indeed greater than or equal 4, which closes the proof. Very nice problem, I'd say. Uh, pretty standard, but it's not standard for uh, students of high schools. Remember, recall that this problem was proposed for 12 graders. I'd say that, uh, in general, Romanian Olympiads are a very unusual to say the least. Uh, the level of difficulty is very high, I'd say, for 12 graders. But yes, so Cauchy Schwartz inequality is very helpful. Suitable um, suitable um, setting suitable uh, parameters, constants A and B is also very important. I did it by guessing, but as I said, A can be set to 1 uh, pretty, we are not losing anything, and then you can always set this number to be 4 and just solve a quadratic equation. You will get b equals minus 1 third as a solution. Yes, very nice. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.